All right, then today we're gonna to be doing a new challenge or a new CTF. This one's gonna be called Pointable.tw. Pointable.tw. Tw standing for Taiwanese. So these are a bunch of Taiwanese challenges. So today we're gonna to be doing ORW, where we're only giving limited sys calls. Sys calls that we are given are open, read, and write. Those are the only three sys calls. And if you guys don't know already, we already dealt with this kind of a problem. Where we're only giving a limited amount of sys calls. And it looks like the flag directory is located in home RW flag. And they give us the binary file along with the ports to connect to. So, if you guys already don't know, uh, Pwn Tools already has the built in tools. So, we could uh, write our exploit for the most part using certain syscalls. In this case, open, read, and write. In this example, that's what we have here. So, basically, we're going to just copy this for the most part and just change it to our liking. So what I did is just cat back cat solve.py. So I guess I'll explain, I'll go over what I have. So from pwn import all, and then we have ELF. And then this is basically, this is basically the, our flag right here, challenge, or this is our, how we connect to the, to the netcat port. And after that, we do shellcraft open, which is the location of the file, which is at home ORW flag. And then after that, we do shellcraft read. So we read in three, this is for a file descriptors. ESP, if you look back right here, it's RSP reason why is because if you run this for the most part, Python three, I'll just cancel it right away so you guys can see the solution. We see that the arch architecture type is our IR86, so if we just copy that and paste it, we see that if we go on the Wikipedia, uh, we just wait for this. So if we go back right here, I guess I didn't explain context.binary, context.binary, and so we don't have to manually input the, the type of binary it is. You see right here, until I386, we see that the stack pointer is represented as ESP. So that's how we change RSP to ESP and then this third value is basically how much we want to re read in I put 100 bytes you could put more or less depending short curve right we write out write out one for standard out I think we zoom out uh, uh, one is for writing to standard out you know if you go back right here then we just go back can solve that pi then after that, this receive, what does this do? So this prints out the very first thing when we run the challenge, chow, or ORW. So this prints out, give me your shell code. And then after that, we send in our payload. We put it as ASM. It sends our shell code. And after that, we receive our flag. So because if we type whatever we want right here, stuff that's not shell code, we get segmentation fault for the most part. So. So this print dot receive just prints out give me your shell code. Uh prints out give me your shell code and after that we send in our shell code and after that at the end we uh we receive whatever in this case it's segmentation fault because we didn't put the exact right thing that I wanted, but what we want to get at the end is the flag. So simply if I just run this Python three solve.py, we should get the answer. So now it's running. For the most part and we'll just wait for this so how people would do it i guess explaining this how people would do it back in the day is that people had to write the shell code from scratch so all of this people had to write shell code mm, let's see if they, have, like, they don't have an example right here but uh if you look at previous write-ups people who first saw this challenge before i guess pwn tools added this specific feature of like open read and write people will have to uh, uh write shell code for the most part like manually and actually understand how this works but thanks to pwn tools they made this challenge a lot a lot it's way easier than it's supposed to be so if i just go over here and right here we say flag shell coding with open read and write and we see this is probably like what like 40 bytes and then the rest of the 100 bytes is basically all of this right here so yeah so we just copy this and basically submit it oh well Please log in to submit the flag, but yeah. But yeah, that was about it for this challenge. Nothing too difficult for the most part. And like I said before, this already has like 4,000 solved. So other people have solved this challenge already. Anyway, that was about it on my end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.
and I guess Merry Christmas as well.